Good day, everyone, and welcome to Adventures with Parker. Today, we are here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, specifically at Sky Park. We are actually way up high on a mountain right now. So this place, um, like I said, it's on a mountain, so you got to take a chairlift to the top. And once you're here, there's a bunch of trails and suspension bridges and observation towers. And from what we hear, it's one of the best ways to see the Smokies. We're very excited to explore and take some photos and see what this place has to offer. So without any further ado, let the adventures begin. Sense, yeah, but it was also fast, so I was like, Oh my god, <laughs> true! This is fun, yeah. Are you afraid? Hmm, Are you afraid? I'm not afraid. Pretty sure this is the highest point. Of this. Okay. Oh, you mean like off the ground? Yeah, that's fine. I'm so excited, me too. Mm -hmm. Alright, and now comes the ascent up the mountain. Nowhere to go but up. Here we go. Oh, we're pretty high up already. Yeah. Alright, we're just about at the top. Oh, I think they're gonna take our picture. Top of that one because it's all hidden in the clouds and the mist. Mountain. Wow, there's some beautiful terrace gardens on the way up here. And we're just about to do the Sky Bridge, which is North America's longest pedestrian suspension bridge. Construction on the bridge started in 2017 and it opened fairly recently, just in May of 2019. So yeah, it's still pretty new. And it looks like we're gonna get some gorgeous views on it. So let's let's go check it out. And here we 
Here we go, making our journey across. Wow, it is really windy up here. And you can really feel the movements of the bridge. Like it's all bouncy and shaky. <laughs> How are you doing back there? Awesome. I think we're just about a third of the way across, I think. It's pretty long. So over there is part of the Sky Trail, which is where we'll be headed after we get to the other side of the bridge. You know, you kind of take the bridge over and you take the Sky Trail to loop around and head on back to where we started. No, it's so shaky. <laughs> but I mean, you can get a good view of Gatlinburg at least, so that's nice. Now, pardon my shakiness, but if you look way down there, you can see another sky lift, and that's a similar attraction called the Anakista. They also have like an observation tower and a shopping village and all that good stuff. But we ended up choosing this one because it's cheaper. I think our mountain is a little taller. And in our opinion, we get the better view. Mind you, at Anakista, I think there's some other experiences that this one doesn't have. So, I mean, if you're wanting to do something like this, you really gotta do your research, weigh your options, and know what you're looking for. But we are more than happy with our choice. Oh my God, the bridge is swaying. The bridge is swaying. A little bit, like, I'm fine. Just some things freak me out. Just, just a little bit. I'm not afraid of heights, so this is really funny. This boy wants to jump. Not right. off the bridge. Not off the bridge. Let's no, no, no. That. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> and here comes the glass bottom part of the bridge. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, crazy boy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> You can kind of see it sway. Oh wow, you can really feel it on this end. It's like a wave. And we have made it to the other side. Look at us. All right, and then this display tells us exactly what mountains we're looking at. So the big, tall, misty one over there is Mount Leconte with multiple different points. We have Sugarland Mountain way over there. Yeah, Blanket Mountain, right there. And then, if you ever heard of Rocky Top, I think there's a famous country song about it. Well, that's it right there, right next to Mount Campbell Knob. And right here on the other side of the Sky Bridge, they have a little kind of corner store with drinks and merch and all that good stuff. That is cute. Of course, me being the absolute magnet goblin that I am, might be buying this. I just wanted to point out these cute little stuffies. If this trip has taught me anything, it's that I'm a big sucker for bear themed merch. I just love the bears. Okay, so the next part of our adventure is going to take us to the Sky Trail. We are really feeling the heat on this part of the trail. Okay, this is interesting. So the original sky lift was actually destroyed in a wildfire in 2016 and had to be completely rebuilt. So this new version of the sky lift opened on Memorial Day of 2017, only six months after one of the largest natural disasters in Tennessee history. All right, and the last attraction here at Skylift Park is the Tulip Tower. I 
with us, so. I mean, I find that everything in America is measured in football fields. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like their standard unit. I wasn't trying to throw shade. Okay. <laughs> I just don't understand why it had to be different. Yeah. Let's go. There's facts and stuff at every single level. Nice. So these ones are all about the wildlife and flora and fauna that you can find here. And here we are at the very tippy top of the tulip tower. Can never get tired of this view. I'm talking this about one? this one. No, that one. You're my best view. Mm. Look at us quoting TikToks from 2020. So I was just reading the plaque about the history of this place and it's kind of interesting because the Skylift has been around since the 50s. I mean, mind you, it's gone through a couple renovations and it was rebuilt after the 2016 wildfires. But the rest of this is all pretty new. Like the Sky Bridge was only just built in 2019. The Sky Trail, like the walking trail that kind of brought us back, that only opened in 2020. So yeah, it's kind of cool that we get to experience it in its first couple of years. <laughs> All right, one last view of Skylift Park. So before we go down, we're just going to take a quick peek at the Sky Center, which is where they have their gift shop, as well as a cafe. Yep, more bear, bear merch. <laughs> Gotta have your Tennessee Smoky Mountain bear merch. Actually, this is a pretty nice gift shop. And eagles, bears, raccoons, and eagles. That's the uh, common motif I'm seeing. And wolves, gotta have your wolves. And America, bears, wolves, raccoons, eagles, and America. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of got your standard merch, your keychains, your mugs, your trinkets. The Sky Center is also where you can pick up your photos. They take your picture at the bottom of the lift and also uh, on the Sky Lift just before you're about to disembark. And thus begins our journey back down the mountain. <laughs> nice cool breeze going down here. All right, Michael, what do you think of Skylift Park? Uh, I'd say it was well worth it. Lots of great photos. Yes, the views were amazing. And it was kind of nice because we wanted to do something related to the Smoky Mountains, you know, like we were thinking of doing a hike in uh, Great Smoky Mountain National Park, but this way we kind of got a bit of everything, you know, we got the uh, chairlift ride, we got to do a short little hike on the Sky Trail, we got to do the observation tower, so it's kind of like, I don't know, a mix of everything. And I definitely uh, think this was the better option over Anakista. Again, that might be different for you depending on what you're looking for, but for us, I, I think we're fans of Sky Trail. We're also saying that without having experienced in Kista. True, yeah. Take, take what we're saying here with a grain of salt, just based on our research and our experiences here. We just feel like this was a better option for us. I'm pretty sure this is the same creek that runs behind our hotel. Yeah, I think so. I don't know, I think I saw that there were a few though around. Mm, could be, they're probably all connected though. Yeah. Thank you again for joining us. If you would like to see more theme park, travel, local, and outdoor adventures, be sure to subscribe. You can also find me on social media at ADB Parker. And you can find Michael on Instagram at ProMike7000. As always, big thank you to my Patreons, as well as everyone else who supports the channel in any way, shape, or form. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Once again, thanks for watching, and until next time.
have fun.